been in one of these in a long time. So I set up my camera like way far away. So I have no idea whether you're going to be able to hear me or not. But um, if not, you may have to turn up the, uh, turn up the volume. Because I am on my treadmill. And I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I remember I used to do... I did a couple of these like early on when I started out. And... Um, it's kind of fun to, to think back. When I started out, I think I did, um, I was going for like 15 or 20 minutes, at like 1% incline. I think I was going up like 2 miles per hour or 2.2 miles per hour. Now I'm sort of taking it easy. I've got like 12% incline and 3 miles per hour. So, I've come a long way. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys, an update or anything like that, but uh, feeling kind of good today. Um, no particular reason, just thinking back and thinking how far I've come. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, you know. I'm, I really feel better now than I have probably in 20 years, to be honest. If not ever. Like, I don't even in high school. I wasn't really bothered with my weight, and I didn't think it really slowed me down, but I wasn't really out there doing things, and uh, I didn't feel as good as I feel now, so that's pretty remarkable, I think. Even though when I log into my fitness pal, <laughs> and I look at that weight loss thing, and it says 199 now, I'm like, oh my gosh, I used to say 209. That's okay. Like I said, it's, uh, I've been working on the muscles, so that's where it's going. It's taking a long time. It's taking me a lot longer to build muscle than I ever thought it would. Um, I tell you, these fitness magazines, they really play a trip on the guys. You know, they have all these ads, it's like, gain 10 pounds of muscle in a month. And, you know, stuff like that, and maybe when you're in your 20s, and you're like loaded up with testosterone, and you're eating like 5,000 calories a day or something, maybe then it's possible. I don't know, in your 40s? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's a possibility to build that much. And, um... Yeah, I just wanted to stress that for, for people. Now, I know a lot of people are really focused on losing the weight, getting to goal. And I think that causes some people to go to extremes. Especially when they get in that last 20 pounds or so. Like, they'll do crazy amounts of cardio. They'll cut their carbs way down. They'll, um... You sometimes even lower their calories. And I think it's such a... It's such a bad strategy. <laughs> I mean, not to not to tell anyone not to do it. I mean, you do what you want to do, but it's a really bad strategy to sacrifice to put your body in, in a condition like that to lose weight on the scale. But in reality, if you're doing that and you're trying to get rid of that, those last few pounds, which are, you know, that subcutaneous fat, it's hard to get that. It's not readily available to your body as fuel um, because your your circulatory system, you know, I mean, when it goes into your you know hanging skin and whatnot, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to access. So if you're stressing yourself, your body that much by doing exercise, restricting your carbs, really restricting your calories. For that last bit of your weight loss journey, you're going to end up losing a lot of muscle. And that's going to put you in a bad position when it comes time for maintenance. Because if you have no muscle, <laughs> maintenance is going to be really, really hard. And you're going to regain. I mean, it's just... I see a lot of people struggling with this. Even some who have been really consistent with, with fitness, uh, at least the cardio aspect of fitness, all through the journey, but 
they haven't really put a focus on retaining and building muscle mass. And I think that's the real that's the real strategy you have to have for maintenance. You know, don't sacrifice that short term, you know, getting to goal in, you know, a year or or whatever by by stressing yourself like that. You have to think a little bit longer term. You know, what position are you going to be in when you do reach your goal? Are you going to have that muscle mass to burn the calories? You know, are you, is your fitness level going to be high enough that you can maintain? Um, there's a lot of successful people in the community. Very fitness related people in the community. But it still kind of bothers me that um, they still restrict their calories so much. Some of them are running like 5Ks every day. And they do that so they don't gain weight. And I think it's a... You kind of put yourself into this cycle where you have to do that in order to not gain weight. If you're not, if you didn't focus on that building and retaining muscle mass, especially in that last bit of your journey. So that's my little thought to think on. Um, for those of you out there who are getting close, and um, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna do a rant, and I'm actually gonna stop this. So I'm gonna go turn off the camera, Let's see if I can actually read and hear this. Um, anyway, guys, get out there, be strong, and uh, enjoy the day. <laughs>